Hey, so <clears throat> ages ago, I was making. I started making uh, small rocket nose cones using three D printed molds and laying up fiberglass inside them. One of the problems I had was it wasn't particularly easy. Uh, in fact, I didn't do it. I just guessed it wasn't easy to create like a pattern to cut the fiberglass to to lay inside the mold. So what I tended to do was just cut a piece of fiberglass over the side, splodge it in, and then trim it back, which is a bit suboptimal. So I want to revisit this project, um, but I uh, want to build something like this. So actually, this is a truncated nose cone because I want to kind of create a fiberglass nose cone and then add an aluminium tip to the end to hopefully make it a nose cone that's capable of surviving transonic uh, faster than the speed of sound type flights. That's the plan. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, if you've uh, d attempted any of this stuff before, what you tend to do is you will make some kind of nose cone uh, geometry and then you will kind of cut it out of some kind of block to create a half mould. Um, so, um, en route to creating the mould, you obviously create this this half nose cone. This, I've made this in the uh, Rocket Workbench, which is an absolutely amazing add-on. Um, so, it, But I'm not really going to focus on that. But if you're interested in how I made um, this nose cone part and the mould, um, give us a shout in the comments and I will, if, an, if a couple of you ask... I will make a video about how to do that as well. I'd like to do a video on the uh, rocket nose cone anyway, uh, on the rocket nose cone, on the rocket workbench anyway. So um, you'll just prompt me along into uh, doing that. Okay, so uh, we'll close the, the mould bit for now. So what we want to do is essentially create a flattened pattern of this section and this section and this little lip section in between um, without these end pieces. And that would act as like a pattern guide to cut our fiberglass. So I'm on the part workbench and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, and then use control to multi-select these three bits. Now this middle bit is usually quite tricky to select. So I'm going to zoom in a lot and then zoom out again. So there we go. So we've got the three kind of surfaces or faces that we want to create our flat pattern from. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to part and we're going to create a copy of those, but we're going to create a shape element copy. Um, this should then, as it has done, give us three, the three uh, kind of faces as three shape elements, which you can almost sort of think of as, as surfaces. So I'm just going to toggle that uh, the original object uh, to non-visible, and then yeah, if we if we look at this, we can see that it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like three surfaces, but they're not joined up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select all three of those, and then do a boolean union uh, to um, make a fusion of those those three shapes uh, uh, it it does have a bit of a freak out about um non-solids but actually i found it always seems to work so there we go so now we have a fusion which is our three uh, kind of surfaces of the um, template okay we're going to jump over to mesh uh, so the mesh workbench what we're going to do is we're going to first create a shape from the mesh so uh, we can do that via meshes, create shape from mesh, or you can click it here. Um, you can tinker with your meshing options to get it as fine or as uh, granular as you want. Um, so there we go. Now we've got a mesh and we've got our original um, fusion object. So I'm going to get rid of the uh, older object so that we've just got the mesh visible. And then the last thing we're going to do in this little part is we're going to go to meshes and we're going to go down and we're going to unwrap the mesh now it might think about this a little bit because it's got lots of uh, triangles to process but you can see that we've created um this kind of this collection of wires which form a shape now it looks weird because it always it always projects this onto the xy plane so um it looks like it's done it wrong until you hit uh top view and then you can see that it kind of makes sense as a pattern so I'm going to turn off the visibility of the mesh and then we're just left with this pattern. Now I tend to want to pull this out of here and put it into things like Inkscape so that I could print it out, um, I could maybe make adjustments or I could, yeah, I could print it onto card or paper and cut it out and that's my template. I could laser cut it, I could send it to a CNC machine or what, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, but so for me, an SVG export is probably the best option. So from any workbench here with the shape object selected, you can click file, 
export and then notice you want to use this flattened svg option as your svg output there is another option in the file types list which is a technical drawing a uh, tech draw svg but that's only for exporting svgs from the tech draw so it won't actually work if you use it in this instance um i've obviously got another version of this but i'll just save over the top of it so um yep we'll replace that and so we should see if i um minimize this get back to my desktop we should see truncating nose code and then we can open that with inkscape this computer is a bit slow and inkscape seems to take quite a while to boot on it but um yeah you you can also export uh from freecad as a um pdf um if you uh go via perhaps the uh, draft workbench i think that would work but yeah there we go there's our svg of course we can select it we can change uh you know stroke widths and all that kind of wonderful stuff that we can do in freecad um but yeah we essentially now have a pattern uh to cut out to create fiberglass uh parts uh, panels that will fit directly into that mold there we go. Hope that's useful. If it was useful uh, in true YouTube fashion, please click like and subscribe. And I'll put my Ko-Fi link underneath. So if you want to buy me a coffee, that would be very, very much appreciated as a, uh, a, little, a little compensation for my time making these videos. So yeah, nice one. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.